Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the leader key shortcuts in Vim. If you don't know what leader key is, it is backslash by default, and you can redefine it to be other letters. And leader key shortcuts are shortcuts triggered by first pressing the leader key, and then pressing either one or a few other keys. Now you know what the leader key shortcut is. I will show you examples in my VimRC. Some of my shortcuts manipulate files, windows, tabs. Others uh, are shortcuts for various Vim plugin commands. At the end, I will also show you how to change the waiting time for the leader key. Okay, now let's go to the command line. First, you can remap the leader key using this line. Uh, typically, people use either the comma key or the space key as leader key. Uh, they are both easier to type than the backslash. Obviously, space is even easier than comma, but I prefer to use comma because uh, I like to define leader keys in the insert mode. And the space as a leader key would uh, interfere with normal typing. Okay, the next command uh, is comma Q, which quits the current window. And then the next one is, uh, is comma E, which quits all windows. So for example, suppose I have um, two windows, if I comma Q, it only quits one, and if I comma E, it will quit Vim. Okay, the next one is uh, comma B, which edits the batch RC in a vertical split window. The next one is the same command, but it triggers even in the insert mode. So now if I'm in the insert mode, if I comma B, it still opens that. You can see here, I first escape, then do the same thing as leader B. The next one is comma C, which is the same thing, but uh, edits the vimrc file. Uh, okay, then this comma C is more interesting. This is in the visual mode. Suppose I'm I'm using a Mac machine and I SSH to a Linux machine and use Vim on the Linux machine. Then, then this OSC yunk command, it actually comes from a plugin, will allow me to copy uh, content on the Linux Vim into the clipboard on my Mac machine. Okay, this G is also up from a plugin. Okay, this, this comma N opens a tab. And it works in both normal mode and insert mode. This S writes the current uh, buffer. And the insert mode also do the same thing. Um, so you can see, um, I oftentimes will define the same behavior, both in the normal mode and insert mode. As a result, I oftentimes don't do escape, I just do comma s to save it, or do comma n or uh, um, related commands. Okay, the next one might be more interesting, this is the comma s in the visual mode. So it will sort them. So you can see here, let's say, I have three leader s commands. And right now, I didn't sort them um, according uh, uh, alphabetic, alphabetically. So if you do comma s now, you see the i version will go to the first. Okay, the next two are um, making the split windows either in the horizontal way or in the vertical way. Let's say we do the vertical one, you see it splits. 
and then this W switches windows so let's say I open the bash RC and if I do comma W it switches back and forth okay now I have a few more that uh, um, jumps between different tabs it's not that interesting I know I can do GT but if I have many more of them it's uh, easier to do uh, to choose the number directly okay then I have uh, a bunch of them related to plugins it's very specific to what you like to use but you can use them um, okay you can see here for my um, leader keys shortcuts I always use one letter it's possible to define more than one letter but then uh, it will introduce us introduce a lag because for Vim to uh, uh, operate the leader key it will first it first reads say comma and then it will wait for a bit and see if something comes in and uh, within a short time short time time period if it does it will be a leader key if it doesn't then it's just a comma so that waiting time is controlled by this parameter timeout length and by default it's one second so you have one second to type your next leader key uh, next uh, uh, letter for the leader key shortcut so you can see um, if you have a multi-letter leader key shortcut say AAA then it will wait for Mm, up to three seconds which is uh, quite uh, annoying uh, that's why people usually just use one letter for the leader key and you can further shorten this leader key wait time okay that's all I want to talk about today um, I will also link the, my VMRC uh, in the video description Hope it's uh, useful content for you. Thanks for watching.